Kolev doesn't want to fight. He gets in these positions to fight mandatories or he gets in these eliminators and he doesn't want to fight. I think he was hoping that I said it was going to go for Luis Ortiz and then he could fight Dimitrenko, which was the next one down. He's just wasting time. It's a straightforward fight. The winner gets a crack at the Big Apple. I'm up for that fight. He says he's up for the fight. He said I'm the perfect opponent for him. Well, for some reason, him and Kala are taking long. I hate, hate heavyweight boxing. It's full of cowards. Well, the purse bid is this Thursday. <clears throat> so regardless, either way, we'll find out in the next couple of days what's going on or whether Pulev is man enough to take the fight or not. So those are the words of Dylan White. He's growing frustrated with Kubrat Pulev. He's pressuring him to sign. It seems Dylan White isn't too keen to go down the WBC route. Um, people are going to say he's ducking Luis Ortiz. Other people are going to say, well, he feels frustrated by the fact that the WBC have allowed Dominic Brazil to leapfrog him into becoming mandatory challenger. So because he's paid so many sanctioning fees and fought so many WBC ranked fights, he's got a right to feel aggrieved with the WBC for not, you know, uh, making him mandatory before making Brazil mandatory. He says, you know, Dylan White has said he's got no problem with fighting Ortiz as long as he gets made mandatory before Brazil. You know, as long as the winner of White Ortiz gets made mandatory before Dominic Brazil gets made mandatory. So, um, and me personally, I, I don't for a second believe that Dylan White is afraid of Luis Ortiz. He called out Luis Ortiz several years ago when Ortiz was with Matchroom. And Dylan White has been wanting to fight Deontay Wilder. We know he's not scared of Wilder because he wants to fight Wilder. Wilder just knocked out Ortiz. So how is the man going to be scared of Ortiz, but he's not scared of Wilder? It don't make any sense. You know, he, he'll fight Ortiz, but the situation has to be uh, fair as far as he's concerned in terms of him being made mandatory before Dominic Brazil. So the winner of White Ortiz should be mandatory and they should get their shot before Brazil gets his shot. That's what he wants. So well, as far as the Polev fight, yeah, Polev is a strange character. I don't really know what's going on with him. He was supposed to fight Joshua a few times. You know, he had the opportunity several times to fight Joshua and he didn't take it. So I don't know what's going on with Pulev. He's been inactive. Um, is he going to take this Dylan White fight? It's going to purse bid, so hopefully it gets resolved then. And this will be the first time, as far as I'm aware, that Eddie Hearn has gone up against Kala Sowlin for a purse bid. How much will Eddie Hearn be willing to put up in a purse bid? Because I suspect Kubrat Pulev has got a lot more fans in Bulgaria or even in Germany than Dylan White has got in London. Now, Dylan White is pretty popular, all right? Let's not get it twisted. He managed to pack out, I don't know what it was, 7,000 or 9,000 at the O2 against Lucas Brown. So he'd probably do a bit more than that against Pulev. He might do, I don't know, 10, 12, 13,000 possibly. Kubrat Pulev in Bulgaria is going to do a lot more than that. So you have to look at that when you're factoring in who, you know, you have to factor that in when you're looking at who's going to win the purse bid potentially, which promoter would be willing to put up more money to secure their fighter home advantage. I suspect it might be the Sourlands who are more willing to put up the extra cash because the Sourlands have, as far as I'm aware, a long-term contract with Pulev. Eddie Hearn does not have a long-term contract with Dylan White. So, you know, yeah, how loyal is Eddie Hearn going to be to White? How much is he going to push the boat out for Dylan White? These are questions I guess we'll find out in the next few days. And I have said before that if this Paul F. White fight goes ahead, if it takes place in Germany or Bulgaria, I'll be favouring Paul F. Because I think the officiating and the judging will be in his favour. If it happens in the UK, I'll be favouring Dylan White, because in the UK, I think the officiating and judging will be in White's favour, and I do think that the fight is competitive enough that the officiating and the judging will could make a crucial difference. I do think the guys are evenly matched enough that, you know, it could come down to refereeing and judging in terms of, you know, Pulev likes to hold a lot these days. Um, if you see the Derek Chisora fight, he was holding all night. Chizora wasn't able to get off. If 
he fights in Bulgaria or Germany, he might be able to do a similar thing with Dylan White and just hold him all night. Get the better of it on the outside, they're not close, just hold. You know, whereas in the UK, Pulev probably wouldn't get away with that. And so he'd be forced to fight, and that would be to Dylan White's advantage. So that's just an example of how I think officiating could make the difference between winning and losing. I think it's a very competitive fight either way. You know, regardless of where it's held, it's going to be very competitive. So, yeah, anyway, let me know how you feel about this situation in the comment section below. It's Hatman, I'm out.